Hello, welcome to True Projects. In this video, we are going to explain about anomaly detection and attack classification for trained real-time ethernet. Introduction: We explore the use of real-time ethernet in train control and management systems (TCMS) and the potential security risk posed by the ethernet communication protocol's openness. To defend the train communication network, we suggested an intrusion detection system based on anomaly detection and attack classification. We also go through the significance of TCMS security and the potential ramifications of security breaches. It establishes the context for the proposed methodology, which intends to create enhanced algorithms for detecting abnormalities and classifying potential cyber attacks in order to protect train communication infrastructure and improve overall network resilience. Objective: The project's goal is to create and train real-time Ethernet intrusion detection system that can identify and classify attacks on the train communication network. We developed two attack categorization models based on random forest and an anomaly detection model based on support vector machines. Using public data sets and a simulated train real-time Ethernet test bench, we employed optimization algorithms to tune the kernel function parameters of SVM and tested the intrusion detection and attack classification model. The project's goal is to enhance intrusion detection accuracy and computing performance while maintaining classification precision. The ultimate purpose of the project is to improve the security of train control and management systems and to avoid potential security breaches. Requirement to implement this project, we have two kinds of requirements: hardware requirements and software requirements. In hardware requirements, we have operating system Windows only, processor i5 and above, RAM 4 GB and above, hard disk 20 GB and above. In software requirements, we have Python IDEL with 3.7 version. To implement this project, we have used the following algorithms. Algorithms used are support vector machine (SVM). SVM is a machine learning algorithm used to classify data points into different categories. In this case, SVM is employed for detecting anomalies and classifying potential cyber attacks within the train real-time Ethernet network. By utilizing SVM for anomaly detection and attack classification, the train real-time Ethernet network can proactively identify and respond to cybersecurity threats, ensuring the safety and reliability of the train communication system. The SVM's ability to handle complex, high-dimensional data and its robustness make it a suitable choice for anomaly detection in critical infrastructure like train networks. And the second algorithm used is SVM PSO, Particle Swarm Optimization. SVM PSO is a hybrid approach used for anomaly detection and attack classification in the train real-time Ethernet system. In this method, SVM is employed employed as the underlying classification algorithm to distinguish normal network behavior from potential cyber attacks. PSO, a population-based optimization technique, is used to tune the hyperparameter of the SVM model. PSO optimizes the SVM's parameter by simulating the social behavior of particles, searching for the most effective combination. The synergy of SVM and PSO enhances the classification accuracy, enabling efficient identification of anomalies and cyber attacks in the trained real-time Ethernet network. And the third algorithm used is SVM GA, genetic algorithm. SVM GA is another hybrid approach used in anomaly detection and attack classification for trained real-time Ethernet. Similar to SVM PSO, it combines the power of SVM with the optimization capabilities of genetic algorithm GA to enhance the accuracy of anomaly detection and attack classification. And the fourth algorithm used is random forest algorithm. A random forest is an ensemble learning algorithm used in anomaly detection and attack classification for trained real-time Ethernet. It operates by constructing multiple decision trees during the training process, and the fifth algorithm used is CART to classify attacks. CART is classification and regression trees is another decision tree based algorithm used in anomaly detection and attack classification for trained real time Ethernet. 
cart works by recursively partitioning the data into subsets based on the values of input features to create a tree like structure cart is capable of handling both categorical and continuous features and can effectively deal with high dimensional data its ability to create unpredictable decision rules and its simplicity make it suitable for detecting anomalies and classifying attacks in the trained real time ethernet network However, CART can be prone to overfitting and therefore techniques like tuning and cross-validation are commonly used to optimize its performance in real-world applications. Methodology To implement this project, we have designed the following methodologies. The first module is Upload KDD99 Dataset. The KDD99 dataset, a widely used benchmark dataset for intrusion detection and network security research, is uploaded to the system. This dataset contains network traffic data with labeled instances representing normal and attack behaviors. And the second module is pre-processed dataset. The uploaded KDD99 dataset undergoes pre-processing to prepare it for analysis. This includes data cleaning, handling missing values, feature selection and data normalization to ensure the data set is in suitable format for machine learning algorithms. And the third module is run SVM algorithm. The support vector machine algorithm is applied to the pre-processed data, data set. SVM is used to build a binary classification model that distinguishes between normal and anomalous network behaviors based on the selected features. And the fourth module is run SVM with GA. SVM is combined with a genetic algorithm to optimize the hyperparameters of the SVM model. GA searches for the best combination of SVM parameters to enhance the model's performance in accurately classifying anomalies and attacks. And the fifth module is run SVM with PSO. Similarly, SVM is integrated with the particle swan optimization algorithm to fine tune the SVM hyperparameters. PSO optimizes the SVM model by simulating social behavior among particles to identify the optimal configuration for better classification accuracy. And the sixth module is run random forest algorithm. The random forest algorithm is used for ensemble learning. Multiple decision trees are constructed based on bootstrapped subsets of the dataset and their predictions are aggregated to provide more accurate and robust anomaly detection and attack classification. And the seventh module used is run CART algorithm. CART, classification and regression trees algorithm is another decision tree based method used for classification. It recursively partitions the data into subsets to construct a decision tree which aids in identifying anomalies and classifying attacks based on the data's features. And the eighth module used is Time Graph. The Time Graph displays the execution time or processing time for each of the applied algorithms. It helps to analyze the efficiency and computational cost of the different methods in handling the trained real-time Ethernet dataset. And the ninth module is Accuracy Graph. The accuracy graph represents the performance of each algorithm in terms of accuracy. It shows the percentage of correctly classified instances for normal and anomalous data points. The graph enables a comparison of the algorithm's effectiveness in accurately detecting anomalies and classifying attacks in the trained real-time Ethernet network. Execution For the execution of the project, we need to open the code folder. This is the code folder. This is the dataset folder. Uh, to implement this project, we have used KDD99 dataset. Importing this dataset contains the information of duration, prototype, size, file, etc. This is the main code file. This is the run.bat file. Instead of executing a project in the command line interface, we have created Windows bat file to execute the project. Double click on run.bat file. A graphical user interface will pop up. This is the graphical user interface. Now click on upload KDD99 dataset to upload the dataset. Select the dataset and open it. So here we can see that the dataset is loaded and the dataset contains both numeric and non numeric values. But non-numeric values are not accepted by the machine learning algorithm. So these non-numeric values must be converted to numeric values. That is the data must be pre-processed. 
and this is the graph so here we can see that the x axis contains the attack name and the y axis contains the count of the attack now close the graph now click on pre process data set to process the data set so here we can see that the data set is completely processed that is the non numeric values are converted to the numeric values and the missing values are filled with zero so this data is suitable for the analysis and here we can see the total columns in data set now click on run svm algorithm to train the svm algorithm and get its accuracy so after training svm algorithm we will get the accuracy on training data accuracy on test data and the training time of svm now click on run svm with ga to train svm by selecting optimize features using svm so here we can see that after training svm with ga we will get its accuracy on training data accuracy on test data and training time here we will also find the total number of columns in data set before applying ga and columns in data set after applying ga so here we can see that after applying ga the number of columns has been reduced now click on run svm with pso uh, packet start now click on run svm psa to train the svm with pso so here we can see that a uh, pi swarm pso packet start selecting optimized features from data set and then will we will get the output so here we can see that after training pso with svm we will get the accuracy on training data accuracy on test data and training time and we will also get the total columns in the data set before applying pso and after applying pso so here we can see that after applying pso the number of columns has been reduced now click on run random forest algorithm to train random forest and get its accuracy so after training random forest we will get its accuracy on training data accuracy on test data and we will also get the training time now click on run cart algorithm to train the algorithm and get its accuracy so after training cart we will get its accuracy on training data accuracy on test data and training time now click on time graph so this is the time graph so here we can see that x axis represents the different algorithms present and the y axis represents the execution time so from this graph we can conclude that svm ga and svm pso is having the more execution time compared to the other algorithms close this graph now click on accuracy graph so here we can see that the x axis represents the different kinds of algorithms and the y axis represents the accuracy on test data and train data so here we can say that svm ga and s accuracy compared to the other algorithms now we'll close this and the final conclusion of the project is the project concludes that the suggested intrusion detection system based on anomaly detection and attack classification can identify and classify attacks on the railway real time ethernet successfully it demonstrates that the pso svm algorithm ga svm method and cart algorithm can detect anomalies and classify attacks with high accuracy the project also covers the models time complexity and significance of tcms security future research should focus on identifying convert attacks and developing new attack and defensive models to protect the security of train communication data equipment and databases according to the initiative overall the project improves the security of train control and administration systems thank you for watching video for more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.